welcome, welcome. This is Dev Deadly Art Gamings. For those coming for the first time, welcome. For those coming back, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna be making a build guide video for my uh, Forge Guard on Lost Epoch. Uh, they just did a big update uh, recently to 0 0.7.9 with a bunch of changes, a bunch of upgrades and stuff like that. Um, so. Just now getting into the game, uh, I haven't been playing for too too long, but I start. I want to go ahead and start getting some guides out and uh, and kind of show you what I'm working with currently. Um, so without further ado, uh, at the end I will show a little bit of gameplay footage of me running through uh, Monolith, where I'm really enjoying the playstyle of this build because I can pull a bunch of mobs and then just blow them up. Um, so it's definitely a lot of fun to play around with, uh, has a lot of tankiness to it, uh, but a lot of uh, damage as well. So it's kind of versatile, uh, fun to play, um, but, but I'm going to go over the gear, uh, go over my skills first, and I'm going to kind of go over a little bit of the gear. I don't really have the gear that I'm wanting to get in game wise yet. Uh, of course, I'll make another video as soon as I get it more the gear side straightened up of what I'm actually looking to get. Um, but I'll go over the skills and kind of give you an idea of what the armor that I'm, and stuff that I'm going to be looking for to make this a really great build. Uh, so let's go through the skills first. Um, essentially, uh, what you'll want to start out with, I mean, I leveled up with uh, Vengeance, uh, Warpath, Shield Throw, um, where is it, Shield Throw, that's pretty much what I s leveled with until I got my spec or got into uh, Forge Guard and started getting up in my Void, the Void Tree to get my s skills. Um, Shield throw worked really well. Um, I like the whirlwind of being able to go in and um, pull mobs to me, and then I would shield throw, um, and it would just ricochet through everything and destroy everything. I had a um, what was it? I'm trying to remember the what I had, there was a piece of gear, oh here he goes, uh, throw an axe on nearby enemies whenever I, uh, the throwing damage was almost 100% on that so I was using that and with the throwing arm, um, shield throw, uh, damage on that was really nice so it made leveling really easy. Um, but essentially once you get in game you can kind of play with a couple of these how you see fit um, now I know you see my bar down here you don't see the skill here and I'll explain that here in just a moment of why I've got this one leveled up yet I'm not using it down here um, so this one is um, essentially your main skill you're gonna be casting a lot like spamming along with the other skills um, this is going to be your region basically gives you all your life back all your uh, mana to where you can spam your other skills non-stop um, essentially we go up here um, get the additional there and the attack speed this is kind of your big point here uh, getting the attack speed up as high as possible because um, essentially and this isn't as fast as it normally runs once you get that skill it'll make you attack a little bit faster and then some other stuff will also make it attack a bit faster as well um, but then you get this for increased damage and then uh, another additional there and this is the big part over here um, not really worried about this one this is just to get to here 30% damage taken lowered, um, which is really big. Um, 
so that's 30% right there. Um, then you get 30% less damage just from the skill alone. Um, so that's a big damage reduction there. Um, and then I kind of played with this. Um, I'm trying to see if this, how this plays. I put a point into it just to see if this would really benefit me, uh, but I haven't really seen it proc. Um, so I'm not sure if it's really going off, uh, but then this is going to be your secondary, this is going to be where all your damage is going to be coming from, this one and then Devouring Orb. Um, essentially what this does is it does a pulse around you and it hits mobs. And you see I only, I only pressed it once and it did a couple recasts that do not cost mana, uh, just auto cast for you. So if I cast it once, it's casting multiple times even though you only see it once. So the thing is that it stacks. So essentially once you get it, it's a damage over time. Um, and then you come up here, get the increased damage over time to get this. Um, the debuff stacks. Um, and it reduces the damage over time effect, which shortens it, but as quick as you're destroying stuff, it's not really going to matter that much. Um, the other big one that you got to go for is down here. You come here just to get the three points in here. You're going to need the mana efficiency, the cast speed, um, to get this. Uh, they stack. Um, of course, the decay duration is chopped in half, but your casts stack. So you come over here to get the additional recast, and then you get the mana efficiency here. You get at least one here to get it some mass efficiency and the delay between the recasts it gets increased a little bit but it's not too big of a deal um, and then this one I wouldn't recommend going over to um, just because it makes the mana cost go high because you can see how much it of course I'm in I mean you can see how quick it uses this but essentially what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing stuff like that so you're gonna be constantly just holding down vengeance and it's gonna refill you um, of course I've got a I don't have it like I said I don't have all the stuff that I want to get there's um, a couple of items that I've seen I had gotten one but I wasn't planning on making a fourth card so I sold it um, now I regret it uh, but if you stack them it gives you mana efficiency for your void skills, so it'll make the mana usage a lot lower. Um, so once I get those, I'll stack all four. Uh, I think I'm gonna get all f uh, four rows of that uh, to make that a lot smoother, to where I can cast it a lot faster. Um, but then come down here. Um, I'm grabbing this. To reduce their uh, attack and cast and movement speeds, uh, I'm gonna come over here and grab that um, to help lower the um, armor of the enemies, just so they'll die a little bit faster. Um, I'm gonna do this one last. Uh, Thyring Orb. This is where the second part of your big damage boost comes from. Uh, essentially what it does is it casts the orb that essentially when enemies die it does an AOE damage um, and at each successful rift that um, has 12% increased damage and area effect cap at 100% so you generally would always have this up um, in which you're going to come over where is it over oh, here um, orbs you so it follows you yes the mana cost goes up substantially but it's not a big deal 
Um, and yes, it does lower the damage. It makes it a lot more convenient instead of it you casting it and putting it say here I can sit here and just trail mobs behind me and just have it follow me and then as they die they explode killing everything behind me um, so I don't have to cast it and stand around the ball and kill everything around it so it makes it a lot easier and even with the damage decrease it's not that big of a deal um, but essentially you'll have a larger area up here um, more damage of course more damage of course and then defenses uh, so get some elemental protection and void protection um, with uh, while you have them active um, I haven't really tested this really see if it actually doubles it because I know it shows the same thing twice so it's actually double that kind of it's kind of weird but uh, but yeah, um, and then the last two points I'm gonna be doing this to give me more movement speed because that's the only thing about this game is that the movement is kind of lacking. I, I wish there was a little bit more uh, like pots that you can use for movement, kind of like Poe has, or a little bit more on the movement skill um, side because there's no. I mean, there is a uh, where is it? Uh, lunge where you'll dash to the target um, but eh, you have to have an enemy to cast it to get further so you can't just spam it uh, just to get around faster unless I haven't really checked to see if there's like a um, way to make it uh, castable without an enemy target because it says it on the tooltip, you have to have uh, an enemy. But uh, irregardless, let's see here. Um, so that way, with two points in there, I'll have 20% uh, increased movement speed. So I meant, doesn't look like, I mean, you can see the difference between, all right, go away. I'll show, I'll start walking and then I'll cast it. I mean, that's it's not a whole lot better but it is a bit better and then once I get 10 more percent uh, it'll definitely look uh, movement will be a little bit more fluid uh, on that end so um, but last but not least this one's kind of um, a weird spell or weird skill essentially what it does is it makes you go back in time so like I'm standing here and it's gonna have it keeps a relay of two seconds back so essentially you can use it as a secondary heal because um, whatever damage everything gets reversed from from now like two seconds like say I move over here get nailed by some big enemy and knocks me half life and I cast that it's going to move me back so well, see how it moved me back so whatever I'm at here that two seconds pass is what I'm gonna go back to so my health my mana all that said well not my mana because I'll show you here in a second um, so it's really good with um, keeping your health up so if you're fighting something big that's hitting hard you can keep hitting it to kind of refresh yourself without having to use pots as often um, but essentially once you come over you want to come over here and get this because uh, it increases the cooldown recovery speed by 400 um, percent the only thing that it does is it no longer restores your mana uh, which isn't too big of a deal um, but the biggest thing that we use this for is the damage global attack speed increase and cast speed increase um, so this is going to give you 24% increased attack speed and cast speed, which when you cast it, it makes you hit, use your vintage a lot faster, which is going to heal you. I forgot, I forgot to kind of point that out. With vengeance in our passive tree for Sentinel, 
you're going to be getting this, which is going to give you 25 health and 10 mana every time you cast a spell. So every time I swing this, the faster I can swing, the faster I'm getting health, the faster I'm getting mana back. Um, which means I'm casting my damage and all that stuff a lot faster. So definitely works out really well. Um, I mean, you can change that up if you want. Uh, you don't have to use that. Um, I just now started recently using it. Um, it's made it a little bit nicer having a secondary heal, um, the faster attack speed and everything like that. Um, but essentially we're coming down here, cooldown recovery. Um, I'm not worried about health regen because I'm at, that's kind of pointless. Um, and then you go this way and this way because you're gonna basically going to be um, starting a Void Rift um, from where you started at and then come over here where you arrive at. So you're going to do a Rift at both places. So if you're just standing there in one spot fighting somebody and you're pressing this repeatedly, you're putting down two Rifts. Um, so increase a lot of damage so and then the rest is just area, uh, area effect and um, increased damage uh, taken there and then damage over time taken additional damage um, but that's pretty much it uh, this one's pretty nice too um, gives you cooldown recovery per kill so when you're killing stuff it increases the time to where you can cast that again uh, which even without killing anything you're able to pretty much click it pretty much every time like the tax speed buff drops off um, let's see here all right so I'm gonna kind of go over this um, and how this plays into the skill tree and how it's actually used um, so essentially it puts shields around you that take um, that have their own health um, the shields draw draw aggression and block projectiles um, so essentially you'll want to come up here um, get a little bit more distance on so they're not so close to you that way um, they're a little bit further out um, able to hit get the intercept stuff a lot easier um, Come up here, put these two points in there to get two additional seals. I think I have, it comes with what I'm at right now is five. Um, and then come down here to where they last longer. And what was, I tried, um, I'm actually gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this point out. I kind of went here just to come here to try the push. I, I I wanted to see if it was a big push, like it pushed them right away ways, uh, but it doesn't, it's not really far, so it doesn't really do much. Uh, so I didn't really like that. Uh, so I think I might take this out. I'm testing this out to see how defensively the slow is helping. Uh, I don't, like I said, I just got this, so I'm just testing this one out real, right now. Um, but I want to come over here for shield health, uh, or not shield health, but the mana cost, lower that down a little bit. Uh, mainly to come over here, I'm maxing this out, uh, or going to max this out uh, to get the extra block chance and effectiveness. Um, I was kind of thinking about trying this out, but it just makes it to where I can't move. Uh, for one second, but uh, I don't know if that'll really be necessary. Um, so, but I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get these two, and uh, so that'll put me at 18, and I'll have two points left over. I was either, I, I think I'm gonna put at least one point in here, um, and then one point over here to get more health. Um, so the shields have a little bit more health, more protection. Um, and then uh, have, it, have it heal me for 50 uh, every time a shield dies. Um, now the thing is, yes, it's not on here, so we're not casting this. 
this is part of the skill tree or not skill tree but the passive tree so the passive tree would have let's see here wrong button. so essentially it's gonna be over here in forge guard uh, way up here shield crafter um, it casts the it has a four percent chance of casting the um, shields for me um, and the health is at 300 uh, percent now I will say this um, yes I know most will be like four percent that ain't gonna be much of nothing but um it actually with as many mobs and that we are pulling and killing it procs a lot um, so I'm at I like whenever I'm doing like arena and stuff like that I generally have anywhere from 5 to 20 I had like 25 I think earlier today when I was doing a reason arena um, swirling around me so I meant they proc a lot so you don't have to cast them um, and all that stuff so but I'm gonna go over to the sentinel tree first of what I've got right now um, essentially you're going all defenses at the beginning health regen vitality block chance effectiveness uh, then armor here and then of course the region here or the health gain per cast um, I've tried the other ones like smite and I've looked at reeve and stuff like that to try to see if they might be viable um, but just the damage reduction from vengeance is just too nice to pass up I mean, I have a chance. I have a feeling they might change that here soon, to where it's not so much of a decrease. And then they, the others would be to where you can substitute those in. But for right now, vengeance is the way to go for right now. Um, and then once you go to, once you get around 20 or so, whenever you're doing the match request, um, you want to get forge guard because that way you get the 30% more armor and fire protection and 3% less damage taken from hits you uh if you uh that for each hit you have taken recently up to 30 percent um so essentially once i unlocked forge guard i went straight for void knight um essentially to get my skills uh you'll come over here i still haven't finished this up i gotta Max this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm maxing that out or not. Let me see. What was I gonna do on that? Can't remember if I would. No. Yeah. I was, that's all I was gonna do with that one. Um, and then melee damage leads and forge damage leads gets more leads there. Um, and then. And that's it. Uh, one, once you get those 15 points, you'll be able you'll get up to the devouring orb, and then you can start running the build itself. Um, and then everything else from here is going to be um, forge guard. Um, essentially, come up here. You'll get 10 here. Uh, increase the armor when hit by 150 percent. Um, block chance and effectiveness max that out you want to max this out um, to get more armor and uh, elemental protection on block uh, stacks up to 10 there we go let's see here and then uh, by then you'll be able to jump up here go ahead and get the health gain on block health gain on hit and then get this as soon as you can um, so you can start getting those rings and get because I essentially had it on here on R. R um, this can be a whatever skill you want to use type deal. Uh, I'll kind of show how I, or tell you how I use this here in a moment. Um, but once you get that, then you can start filling in. Um, I'll be maxing this out, of course. 
uh, get more damage uh, when hit there, and then maxing this get, of course, more block chance and um, effectiveness. Um, I think I'm going to grab this, max this out as well, um, just to get more damage once I get up there. And uh, let me see, I can't remember. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up or not, so I don't really do a whole lot of bleed or ignite. Um, not sure yet on that. Because I might get some here, because uh, the two men helps with the damage as well. Because uh, some of the, what was it? Several of these are based off the your attunement. But, oh well. Uh, let's see here. I think that's pretty much it as far as the tree, because that should cap us out. Um, I was going to get this here, put a couple points in here. And that's pretty much, that should be about it. Um, like I said, I might change this up a little bit. Um, just once I start pushing higher and get my gear set up, I'll start changing stuff around to kind of fine tune the defense and the offense together. And um, all that fun stuff. And then I'll go over the gear. Uh, essentially, as far as the idols, there's idols like these, the really big ones that take up the entirety of one line. Um, that gives you mana efficiency for void skills. Um, and another thing on, I can't remember what it does. Um, but essentially, just helps with getting the mana cost down to where you can spam it a lot faster. And a lot easier. That's my issue right now is just the mana conservation. Once I get going, keeping it running smooth, it'll be a lot better once I get that in there. Um, like I said, my gear is nowhere near what I want it to be. Um, there's essentially three key pieces to the build. Uh, Sentinels have a s armor, not a set armor, just regular armor. They're the only ones that can get a special rule on them to where you can convert damage. So like on the helm and the chest, you would get two convert damages. Uh, one's ne uh, I think Necro, um, and the other one was, I think it was Poison. Necro and Poison converted to physical, and you would get those on both of them so that I get you about close to 50 maybe 60 percent of damage maybe higher if you get good rolls on it um convert it to physical and then amulet is orion's eye which converts fire to uh physical as well uh so essentially that takes three um um that takes three of the damages out, or not damages, but um, uh, but not uh, I'm sorry, not fire. Um, it takes void, turns it into fire, um, and then gives you uh, extra 100% fire protection. Um, and then also it gives you 100 mana, which will help greatly uh, as soon as I can ever get one. Because I have yet, I've seen someone with it, 
and that's why I was kind of wanting to use that, but I can't seem to ever get it to drop, and it's driving me insane. Um, but uh, but that way you can pretty much these three over here are don't really have to worry about a lot of the gear that we're gonna get. We're gonna be getting elemental protection, and then putting or uh, anything inside from elemental protection getting fire, light, and cold um, to cover these mainly. Um, that way the bulk of the damage is being converted into these where we're going to be highly immune to. Um, any of the residual damage that doesn't get converted um, that's what the elemental protection will kick in because um, I'm hoping to get these around maybe five, uh, about 500 or so. That way, uh, get them get them somewhere close to around 50%. Uh, that way, whatever does pull the residual damage, it's not gonna really hurt me as much. Um, like right now, I'm sitting at 98% stun avoidance. Um, I'm gonna have this a little bit higher because uh, I want to get on on these. Um, the chance for glancing blow per um, item with the zap fix on them. Um, as soon as I can find them. Uh, I keep, I've gotten a couple, but I just can't seem to get any with the stats that I want. Um, they're being very annoying, and crafting is just not liking me in this game. Um, so, so right now I'm at 46% block chance. That's not going to change. Oh, um... I'll finish that after the gear. But yeah, uh, like I said, this you'll just want to get something with uh, void damage. Um, um, and then, of course, your resistance is if you can get on there. If you can get it with melee attack speed also, it would be great just to give you that faster attack speed. Uh, I just got this one because of, or started using this one because I had a high fire protection, but mainly it gave me 52% void damage, uh, which was a lot better than what I had before, so uh, I think it was only at like 25% void damage and just some crap stats on it, so. Uh, but I'm not using anything great. I mean, I like this chest because it gives me a lot of void damage. That's what? 100 plus void damage. Um, which is nice and a lot of armor. Um, or a decent amount of armor there. Uh, and then more glancing blow. I need to get some better boots and stuff. Uh, these are still level 2. I haven't found anything good uh, for boots yet to replace those yet um, but yeah that's what I'm working on right now is getting my resistances uh, up um, hopefully soon I'll be able to get my helmet and that and hopefully get get the uh, amulet and that's definitely gonna make it a lot smoother and this is just placeholder just because I haven't found a shield that has decent stats I just got this one mainly because it had the high block chance and really high um, block efficiency uh, the rest of it I don't care about um, but essentially like I said this skill right here the R um, that you can kind of use what you want um, you can use the, uh, what was it, uh, lunge just to get in, get in real quick and like put it over here or however you like your setup and just dive bomb in and do your bam. Um, 
I don't know, I didn't really like that too much. Uh, it was okay. I like doing this one just because it gives me a lot of damage increase. Um, so while in the stance you deal 70% increased physical and void damage, but you lose 7% of your current health when you use a skill and lose 37% more mana from mana drain effects. Um, so essentially with it, you can sit there the damage output a lot higher, so I do a lot more damage with it up, but my defense is a little bit lacking, so I'm in. Yes, it uses a bit of health, but with me constantly doing those, it's, I mean, I generally use this whenever I'm fighting lower mobs, trash mobs. Um, going into fights against like the bosses or whatever that I know don't really hurt me uh, just so I can kill them faster but if I am I see I'm pulled a little bit too much or fighting something that hits really hard I'll turn it off um, that way I don't have that health drain from me casting my skills um, stuff like that yeah I do a little bit less damage but even without it the, the build kills really well um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna go do a monolith run real quick kind of show you all how easy it blows things up oh, come on go Let's see how this goes. So let's see, you can run through here, make sure you do this at least once. Just to get your... Get your damage reduction up, and then you can just start pulling. Doesn't hurt me. That's my biggest issue right now is like cold and some my resistance aren't where they need to be, so a lot of this stuff still hurts me quite a bit. Once I get my resist where they need to be, get my helm in my chest, um, I won't be taking the damage that I'm taking right now. It's going to be significantly lower. Because see, like these fire guys, I don't care about. They don't hurt me hardly at all. It's mainly those winged guys. These guys, they hurt. So see, I can go in there and cast real quick and then hit that time reversal. And because they hit me almost instantly and hurt me a lot, but then I time reversal out and that heals me at 100%. So I don't have to um, um, use a health pot for the most part. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Oh, more birdies. Oh, not the other ones.
So yeah, that's it. Like I said, still a work in progress, so it's not that my defense is mainly what's killing me right now. Uh, just because I need to get the my two, three pieces that I really need to get my resistance where they're supposed to be. Uh, after that, it's just min maxing resistance, damage, and all that stuff just to make it even better to progress even further. Um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions about the build, make sure y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think of it. Um, any suggestions that you might think might be a little bit better for it? Not what I need. Stop giving me Beastmaster stuff. I've been playing this for what, two weeks now, and like all my legendary, or not my legendaries, but my set pieces. All this stuff is Beastmaster stuff. It's all I get. It won't give me, uh, stuff for my class. It's driving me nuts. Um, but that's just RNG of the game. Uh, but like I said, uh, if you like the content, like the video, uh, make sure you all subscribe to keep up with the build. Uh, I will be making other, as soon as I get something a little bit higher, uh, and kind of more min-max and stuff to where he's running smoother, I'll be making um, some other guides for some of the other classes whenever I get them kind of lined up where I want to go with them as far as build wise if y'all have any specific builds that y'all want me to look at or work on or anything like that uh, let me know I'll feel free to uh, I'll be more than happy to check them out um, and see what I can do about building something for you um, um, and like I said if y'all like kind of make sure y'all hit that smash that like button Subscribe, keep up with the content. You all have yourselves a great one. This is Devin from Deadly Art Games, and uh, thank you for joining me today.